Hello and welcome to the cybersecurity Q&A. Today's question, vulnerability scanning is critical, but automated scans are of low value. What can be done about this? Well, let's do first things first. Every network is in fact vulnerable, and it's better that you find and patch these vulnerabilities rather than the attacker find and exploit them. So what's a natural next step? Well, get a vulnerability scanner, of course, and these are available both as on-premise software as well as cloud-hosted solutions. Define a scan schedule to go against your assets and then begin to receive reports of vulnerabilities. The scanner vendors will tell you that they will sort vulnerabilities by severity, and they typically use the common vulnerability scoring system. Version 3 is the older version. There's a new spanking version 4 available. And they will also offer remediation advice on what specifically you need to do to patch these vulnerabilities. You will then probably say to yourself, hey, look, resources are limited in IT. Let's only patch the high and critical ones that the scanner reported and leave the rest for later. Sounds easy, right? Well, wrongo. Turns out that over 57% of the 128,000 vulnerabilities in the National Vulnerability Database with a CVSS score of high or critical exists. Do you have the capacity to patch 57% of all the CVEs that are going to show up in that report? Well, I'm guessing even if you dedicated the IT team to patching, dropping all the other tasks on their plate, probably couldn't do it. Not that you want to do something like that. I mean, realistically, the average organization probably can patch 10% of the vulnerabilities, and that too on a monthly cadence. Enough said. Remember, numbers don't lie. So what's the real question? The real question is, given a patching capacity of 10% of the reported vulnerabilities, which ones truly matter in terms of risk reduction? I mean, just going by the CVSS score, even the new version 4 is of limited views here. I'll remind you that the creators of CVSS themselves have explicitly said CVSS base scores represent technical severity, which only takes into consideration the attributes of the vulnerability itself. It is not, repeat, not recommended to use this alone to determine remediation priority. So, what's the real answer? As usual, the real answer is it depends on what you ask, well, on context, on being able to answer questions like Is there an exploit available? How likely is the vulnerability to be exploited. Remember for log4j, many of the vulnerable machines weren't exposed to the big eye internet, and so they were unlikely to be exploited. You shouldn't have rushed to patch those because there was no point. Is there any evidence of active exploitation? Can the vulnerability be exploited in your specific environment? And then of course, if it were to be exploited, what would be the impact of this exploit? But the scanning tool that you bought that performs the automated scanning and generates the report doesn't really answer these questions. Well, Netsurian managed vulnerability to the rescue. It's installed and updated by our 24-7 SOC. The scans are performed by our solution, but are coordinated with you in terms of schedule. Reports are generated, but most importantly, context is provided. You get to prioritize patching based on the report, and you offload the repetitive and tedious tasks to us. That means you get to stay within your patching capacity of 10%, but stay safe. Thank you for your attention. Hope this was useful.